So here we have an HP Spectre laptop, yet another HP Spectre laptop that came in for no power, no charge and no power. This is a very well-known issue with these laptops and HP does not want to recognize that they have issues with their laptops. We get this model laptop on daily basis and uh, the laptop came in for no power and customer thinks that the problem is the USB-C ports. That's not the case. 99% of the times the problem is not the USB-C ports because it cannot be that both ports will go bad at the same time. It's almost always a problem with the motherboard. So uh, the first thing I want to do is quick physical inspection. And what you see here is not liquid damage or flux or anything. It's just the black wrap that they have on top of the motherboard. We had to remove it so we can expose the components. We have the big power IC here and the USB-C controllers one here and one here one for each USB-C port and what is this? I see a bulge on that chip look at this so this chip is likely fried gone blown and if this chip is gone most likely this one is gone too Let me quickly measure around the chip to see if we have a short meter in diode mode and we're going to just randomly test capacitors around this area. We do not have a short anywhere. What about this one? None. And what about this diode here? And the diode is testing good. So we do not have a short here, even though we see a bulge on that chip. The bulge is not causing a short, but maybe rather it's causing an open circuit. And like I said, uh, if this chip is bad, it's very likely that the fault spread over to that chip also. What about this one here? Let me test capacitors at random. Just to see if we have a short anywhere. And we do have a short. This pad is going through this inductor onto the chip. What about this capacitor? No short here. It's going to a separate part of the chip. So this part of the chip is shorting to ground, which means that we have to replace the big humongous chip. And these chips are not cheap. Each one goes for about maybe 15 to $20. Same with the other ones. And no short anywhere except for this here. So where should we start? Where should we start? Is it possible that this chip is what's causing a short on this big one here? I highly doubt that, but since we see a blown chip here, maybe we should start by removing this one. And see what happens. Fume extractor on and let's proceed. I do not like to waste time going back and forth. So I inspect and attack. What I'm thinking is, why don't we just go ahead and replace all three ICs? Right now, I'm not able to see the entire chip. I can only see a portion of it. And I want to be able to see what I'm doing. So let's use a Barlow lens. And the Barlow lens will allow us to see more on the board. Okay, so let's see how things are now. And the Barlow lens also allows you to raise up the microscope more. And look at this. I am now able to see the hole chip let's go ahead and remove the chip and look at this i'm able to grab this whole chip with the mechanic tweezers i love it i love it a lot of the tweezers that i have here do not open wide enough to grab the chip like this one but the tweezers by best and mechanic they open wide enough 
to grab the chip. This one here is by Best and you can find it on our website. And this one is by Mechanic and I love the Mechanic one because of how fine the tip is and it's a long tweezer. It feels comfortable in the hand. Let's remove that chip. So I have all three ICs on the side. Add some flux, we're gonna clean up all the solder balls from the pads here. I'll do a quick clean up, then remove the bottle lens so we can zoom in more. And when we are zoomed in more, the ring light is closer to the board and the quality of the image will be better when light is closer. The further away you get the light, the lower the quality. Light plays a big role in how good the quality is. Okay, and let's go ahead and solder that chip. Apply some flux. And we're gonna grab that diamond. You have to open it like this, and like this, and like this. It's like a diamond. Look at the packaging on the ICs. Look at the packaging. Okay, now I'm gonna grab that chip, just like that. Okay, and the job is done. Now before we clean up, let's let it cool down a bit. There is a $65 repair attempt fee if this laptop does not work for whatever reason. And the $65 is really nothing. We're spending over $40 on chips. And it's a very minimal fee to compensate for some of the time spent working on this laptop. So there's really no money if we do not fix it. Even though the customer is paying $65, but there's still no money if we do not fix it. And one thing I want to do is brush the pads with this fine steel brush. And the reason I do this is several times I came across pads that are dull and solder not sticking onto them. So I made it a habit brushing those pads every time I work on those laptops. All what I'm doing now comes from experience and constantly working on those laptops. People ask, where did you learn this? I learned it from working on the same device every single day. I came across a lot of issues, a lot of problems. Let's apply flux here. Solder this chip. We'll solder the other chip. And we should be good. Hopefully. Pin number one is on the top. So we're gonna hold it down in place. Hold your breath. Just 
plate. Is it held in place? Yes. And now we're gonna reflow. Very nice. That's chip number one. And let's do chip number two. Let's finish off with this one and we'll test. I do not know how optimistic everyone is about this laptop working. Let me know, leave it down in the comments. I mean, there's always a chance that this laptop may not work after all that we did. So nothing is 100% guaranteed. Okay, so I have the charger here. Plug it in. And we have the orange light, which indicates that the battery is being charged. Let's power it on. And you can see the light. And right there, <laughs> done. The job is done. So all that work did not go for nothing and customer is gonna be happy. Let me unplug the cable so we can test it on battery only. And as you can see, the laptop is on battery only. We're gonna invoice and mail this back to the customer. So that's it, we're gonna end the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions and we'll do something else in the next video.